Hey, Joe DiGiulio here with another quick lesson. This quick lesson is one of my techniques that I use that I employ in all my paintings. It's called sgraffito. People wonder, well, what does that term mean? Well, what it is is actually etching into a wet layer of paint that has a dry layer underneath and reveals that color. As you can see from this painting where I've started, using my Matisse Derivan uh, line of structure paint, we want structure because that's going to be able to, once I scratch away from it, it's going to hold in place. You won't have the same success with flow, so it's important that you're using the structure's viscosity when doing the sgraffito technique. Now I will go ahead and just brush around using different sets of brushes, moving some paint around. I've got this layer of red down right here. I put down with a palette knife, but maybe I just want to work it out. And you see, because I am using the structure, I can record some brush stroke here. But what I like to do in quite a few of my paintings is either take the back end of an acrylic paintbrush, like the Polar Flows line of brushes, and these acrylic tips are shaped that I can actually etch right in and it will reveal the paint color underneath. So what I'm doing here, I can use a pencil for doing the same thing, is just scratching in. I can leave some graphite behind or not. It depends on if the paint body is wet or if it's totally dry. When it's wet, I can etch into it. When it's dry, it's going to actually record the graphite line a little bit more. So it's kind of a double tool that I'm either going to actually lay graphite down or remove paint depending on the dryness of the paint film, whether it's wet or if it's dry. So you can go ahead and actually, if you didn't like what you did as far as the graffito technique, I could palette knife right over it and cover up some of the areas. Now if it dries, I could also take things like once the red dries, I might want to go ahead and glaze over it, creating another layer of color, building up these layer of colors so that I can go back and etch back into them using my brush. Now, if some of the paint gets left onto the brush, not a problem. I can blend color if I want to make a tertiary third color. And it just lends some harmony to it, blending all of these colors together I guess it goes back to my college days. While in school, I was a sculpture major, so I was always doing 3D, which is actually, as you know, it's a subtractive process, removing stone. So when I started painting a 2D manner, I always wanted to bring some of those three-dimensional elements to it. So by using graffito, it actually lets me etch away kind of like I was doing in my days of carving limestone. You get some interesting effects try some different com color combinations. Maybe you put black over a really bright green and reveal that green through this field of black. All kinds of interesting things you can do. Really, the experiment is up to your imagination. So I suggest when you're out there working in your studio, try Scrofito and see how it works for you. My name's Joe DiGiulio. Thanks for stopping in.